Hello guys and welcome to another video in Sourcet Technical Audit Guide. Today I'm going to tell you about the errors related to H1 headings, accessibility and indexing. Let's start with headings. Sourcet identifies three types of errors related to headings. First is missing H1 heading, second is more than one H1 heading per page, and third is corrupt nesting level of headings. Now let's take a closer look at these errors. The missing H1 heading is pretty much self-explanatory, it means that you have pages on your website without H1 heading. And you may know that H1 heading is a very important ranking factor, it is actually the second most important text ranking factor after title, so you have to have H1 headings on every page of your website. And those H1 headings must be related to the subject of the page, and it's also better to include the keywords that you target with the page to your H1 heading. Second error is more than one H1 heading per page. This error is similar to duplicate title because H1 heading is supposed to tell the search engine what the page is about and if you have more than one H1 heading the search engine may be confused and you don't want that happening. So make sure to use just one H1 heading per page and make sure that that heading defines what the page is about. Third error related to headings is the corrupt nesting level. It means that you use headings in the wrong order. It doesn't mean that you have to use headings in the numerical order, it just means that you have skipped some step there. For example, you jumped from H2 to H4 and skipped the H3 heading. Let me show you the example of proper uh, nesting level somewhere around here. And uh, then I'll show you the example of the wrong nesting level around here. So make sure that you use the example I showed you first and you use the proper nesting level for your projects. Proper nesting levels of your headings help the search engines navigate through your pages more easily. Now let's get to errors related to accessibility and indexing of your pages. There are six of those. First error is low word count. Sorpset will show you the list of pages that have too little text on them, uh, if you have pages like that. And uh, the pages with too little text on them are rarely indexed and they sync your page rank and uh, in general decrease the quality of your website in the eyes of the search engine. So if you see a page like that, you should either hide it in Robust.txt from indexing or you should add some text to it to make sure the search engine can read the page and understand what the page is about. The second error are the pages that are hidden from indexing with the use of no index tag. Using no index tag is not the best option because the search engine will still crawl through the page and see what the page is about, uh, but it won't index it. It's better to hide the page in Robust.txt so you have the full control of what pages are indexed and uh, crawled by the Google and what pages are ignored. Third error is using the iframe tag on your pages. This tag is outdated and the contents of this tag are not indexed by... Mm. Third error is the usage of uh, iframe tag on your pages. This is an outdated tag, the search engines ignore the contents of the tag and quite often it can be used for malicious practices. Uh, it can even be used to upload a different page. So if you see something like that in Sorpset report, go and check the pages with iframe tags and make sure that those are your iframe tags and you want them there. Error number four is using Flash on your pages. Flash is a very outdated technology and we don't recommend using it at all. So if you have pages on your website that use Flash, just go and get rid of them or change them for something else. Uh, in general, just don't use Flash, it's too outdated and it just harms your website. And last two errors aren't actually errors, they're just notes for you. We show you the pages that have canonical tag on them and the pages that are hidden in Robust.txt. So you can check if you have hidden those pages yourself and they should be hidden from indexing in Robust.txt and if you're using the proper canonical tags on your pages. That's it for this episode. In the next one I will tell you about errors related to redirects, links and server parameters. So don't miss it. Thank you guys for watching. Click like, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.